The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Carson Newman falls to top-ranked Tampa 14-3 to with Tom Griffin and Michael watching for the Eagles Sports Network. While the score says 14-3, to it certainly feels like on your side could have been a lot tighter. Some defensive miscues, half of the runs that you give up are unearned. I thought Braden Coe really did a great job yeah. out there for six innings. Unfortunately, just a couple hard-hit balls extend that yeah. stat line there in the seventh inning. How do you assess this game? Because on the outsider's perspective, not being at the game, they might think, wow, Tampa's incredible and Carson Newman's struggling. But from an insider watching the game, felt like it was a little bit different than that. Well, Tampa's really good. Oh, yeah, it's a course. solid team because they don't make mistakes. Uh, they play clean baseball. They communicate well out here defensively. And obviously, they're very skilled players. I mean, there's no doubt about that. But they don't hurt themselves. Their pitchers throw strikes. Um, they've got power arms. Um, you know, so they're very clean. And it's like we were saying, you know, like in college football, you, you got a, uh, a really good uh, college football program and say someone else, you, you can't make mistakes, right? You can't fumble. You can't have a ton of penalties. And it, not just against Tampa, you can't do that in anything. We talk about the freebies. Um, again, the errors. And then it was being crossed up. Uh, at the dish here between Coe and Caldwell that, that cost another runner on a strikeout. Um, have a ball right there at short, uh, third baseman, runner right in the way, but we, we don't make that play. Uh, fly ball in the outfield, we don't make that catch. you got to make you know just that routine play. So you're right. I thought Coe battled extremely well. He should not have gone out in the seventh. That's my fault. Um, we were thinking about getting him out, and we wanted to extend him as much. We didn't want to lose, lose a ton of arms because you're in another two-game set you got to play here. And um, we tried to squeeze a little more out of him, and that was my fault to let him do that. But he, uh, the way he responded after the third inning was tremendous. And I thought Carson Pack, um, you know, we, we again, we extended him probably more than we normally did. And I thought he handled things exceptionally well. And uh, showed some, you know, uh, stuff that's going to be necessary as, as we go on. All these games, again, they're all learning processes. we got to learn, and we ask them to meet with each other in their position groups, and then we talk, okay, so what do you think? And, um, you know, I think it's, you know, when they first got here, it's like, all right, let's see what the number one team looks like. So you're sitting here watching, like, well, wait a minute, why wouldn't you watch any other team do that? You didn't watch Limestone take BP, you know, all of a sudden you're, you know, it's like, you know, just – you play your game. You do what you normally do. Don't change your routine because of who's here because you're competing against the baseball and yourself. Those are the two things you're competing against. Yourself is the most important thing mentally, and then it's the baseball. You know, you got you to gotta be able to play catch. You got to be able to throw strikes. You got to be able to put barrel on ball. And if you simplify that and just do it to a fullest extent, then we should be good. I, you know, the other thing we've got to just make sure is that uh, again, we talked about it's another training day, an opportunity to get better and do what we normally do on an everyday practice routine. And we shouldn't have to take guys out of games because of um, uh, mental lapses, um, but we'll learn from it. That's what you got to do. You learn from the uh, mistakes uh, or the lapses that we have, and you just don't have it repeat again or try not to. Been a rough start to the season for Tyler Thompson. How nice was it to see him with three hits and two home runs today? Oh, very good, but he's been hitting the ball hard. I mean – he really has. I mean, in, in our quality at bats, he's been squaring balls up, hitting balls right at people. Even with runners in scoring position, he's made great contact and had great at bats. He just hasn't had the statistics. But, you know, today, and then that's the type of hitter he's, he's going to hit. He's got great hand eye coordination. And, um, you know, he's got good bat speed. He's, he's a really good hitter. Um, you know, and we've talked about with Tyler now is take that next step uh, in your development uh, as a player. Now it's the leadership part. Now it's the. Okay, what are you doing for your teammates uh, on a day-to-day -day basis or during the game to make them better or to improve upon them? That's the next step, I think, in the uh, development of a player is, yes, you're a good player. Um, this is all guys. You're a good player. Okay, now, how are you elevating your teammates? How are you making the guys around you better? Because when we first come to this game and we start playing it, it's like i got to take care of myself. i got to be good. i got to do my things. Once you do that, then it's like, okay, how do I make the people around me better? How do I elevate them? How do I encourage them? How do I hold them accountable? Now that's when you start to really grow as a player and as a person, and then you take that when you graduate and you do it in all phases of your life. You talk about growth. How do you take this game from the player's perspective, put it in your back pocket, 
learn maybe a little bit of that stuff from it and then come back out here tomorrow and compete right at the outset and not fall behind like you have the last three games. Yeah, we have. We, we've fallen behind. And we had a record last year when we scored first what our record was, and it's astronomical. It's a great winning percentage, and I think that's true for any baseball team. I, I have no problem at all. And as coaching staff, we know that our guy's going to come out and compete from the very beginning, and Matt Bradley, I think, will we'll do that on the mound. Um, it's, again, uh, it's not going to be the fact that we're, we won't come out and compete Pete and do that. It's going to be when you uh, fumble, when you go off sides, when you make a mistake. How are we going to respond from that? Um, do you do you learn real quick and move? You flush it, uh, or do you let that be like, oh no, here we go again? Mm-hmm. And only they can control that because, like we tell them, if they think they can, they think they can't. That's how it's going to react yeah. to it. I mean, so um, but but again, we just want them to keep learning from these experiences. Um, uh, each game and try to improve upon some things. And uh, we get to see how they do that tomorrow. Coach, thanks for the time. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you, Michael. He's Carson Newman, Coach Tom Griffin. I'm Michael Watring for the Eagle Sports Network.